Hi, this is my entry for the Outrageous Circuits um, Retro and Bueno uh, Game Programming Contest. Um, originally, I had uh, the goal of uh, making an interpreter and hooking it up to the game API so we could uh, load uh, like basic scripts off of uh, SD cards and such, but uh, I spent most of my time on uh, the uh, game API, uh, the graphics and sound. I did a lot of research into interpreters and found some really neat uh, tiny basic and uh, even a C interpreter called Pico C. Uh, however, I ran out of time to implement that. Uh, so I spent the, uh, about two, two and a half days on this uh, Retro Invaders game, which is a uh, a Space Invaders clone. Um, so I'm going to walk you through that game right now. Uh, so on the main title screen, you've got two options. Oh, looks like it's not working. Oh, I'm pressing the reset button. How does the reset button on the back? Yeah, see that'll get you when it's like five minutes before this thing is due. So you press the up and down arrows, and you can select whether you want to play or turn the sound on and off. So you hit the square or the circle button to actuate. So sound on, sound off, sound on. We'll leave it on. Uh, so the, it's got a little uh, title sequence that it goes through. Little invader comes down when he gets to the uh, retro invader sign uh, uh, text. It uh, flashes and you get a little surprise. Got the LEDs blinking too. Thought that was neat. Those are like are really cool because you can add uh, accents to your game. So to start of the game, you go to play and you hit the select. And oh, hold on just a second. Let me bootload this to the right one. <laughs> there you go. That was a debug version, so I could debug the game over sequence. So, anyways, here we're gonna we're gonna select play. We got a, a scrolling background and uh, lots of space invaders. Some sound, even a, a spaceship saucer at the top. So we got everything that space invaders usually has shields. Um, so there I got hit. The enemies are winning. Ha <laughs> ha. So, um, uh, that's pretty much the game. I mean, the Space Invaders, uh, the less of them there are, the faster they run. So I'll play, I'll play a little bit. Uh, you got your high score, uh, and your points your current score and how many uh, men you have left up in the lower upper right hand corner. Um, when the level goes up, the, basically the aliens shoot faster. Uh, they don't really move any faster, but when they shoot faster, they really shoot faster. Oh, I get hit again. I might not make it to the next level. He is. Sometimes this game is downright hard. Anyways, yeah, it's it's a standard space invader clone. It was fun. Uh, there's well over 40 sprites on the screen at once. Oh, got a time. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna make it. Oh, game over. <laughs> well, there you go. So there's my entry. I'll let the uh, the game over sequence play through. Um, tried to make a case. I wasted a little bit of a time. I got a 3D printer and I tried to make a case for this, but I'm not very good at 3D modeling, so there you go. Uh, no case yet. I will eventually make it. I think I'm going to work on that right after now that the pressure of the contest is off. So, Oh, it's 11.20. I better get this thing uploaded. Oops. So I guess there was a bug there. It's supposed to go to the main screen. I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm going to fix it. So, have a good night.